Hey, we are so honored to have today on our show, Mike, Hayden Hamilton from Greenprint Technologies. And Hayden is one of these really amazing serial entrepreneurs who have, he's created so many businesses even before he went on to find Greenprint Technologies. And Hayden, we're so honored to have you on. We read about you in the New York Times over the July 4th weekend. And Mike and I are always looking through media and looking for great new stories for people who are talking the talk, but also walking the walk for Green is Good. And welcome to Green is Good today, Hayden. Uh, thanks so much for having me on, guys. And, and so, so and Mike and I were talking in our intro that this is such a common problem and that we ourselves and our children are, are challenged with and, and our businesses are challenged with. Tell us a little bit about the genesis for Green Print and, you know, how when you were over in Europe working for Ford Europe, how you came up with this whole concept and what was your initial vision? Yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of an ironic story. Um, I, I was in, uh, in London, um, running an innovation department for Ford of Europe. Um, and every day, uh, on my way to the innovation room, I passed about 20 printers, which by 10 a.m. were all overflowing with those, those wasted pages, uh, that we all get every day with the, uh, you know, one line URL or banner ad or two pages of legal jargon at the end of a credit card statement. Um, and, uh, it, about a year into my time there, I, I finally got a chance to meet with uh, a vice president, and these guys' days are just chalked back-to-back with meetings. So he's running off to a meeting. He runs up to the printer to grab his agenda, and it's sandwiched between two of these wasted pages. And he's already running late for the meeting, and he's throwing pages in the air and swearing and yelling at his secretary to print it off again. Um, and amazingly, uh, as, as the head of an innovation team um, with, with all of these these cues, uh, the idea still didn't really hit me until a couple years later uh, when I was in India and we were short on paper and I got two of these wasted pages and I thought, you know, there's just got to be a simple solution out there. Um, and I went to download.com and usually, you know, if I need an alarm clock for my computer, there's uh, 12 different alarm clocks, one with, you know, dancing pink ballerinas. Um, and I just couldn't find anything that dealt with this problem and did some Google searching and couldn't find anything. And so then started really thinking about what a solution would look like. Well, you know, Mike, to ask him, the, you know, you had a great question earlier, Mike. What was the question you, you wanted to ask Hayden? Well, you know, Hayden, John and I discussed in our intro, there is an option on so many uh, operating systems that when you go to print, you do the, the file select for print. Yep. And it says there's a choice. Yep. Print all pages. Yep. Print selection. Well, we've highlighted the selection. This happens all the time. Yep. You highlight the selection, you check selection only, hit print, and there you got six, seven, eight pages, and when all you wanted was a just a paragraph that you had highlighted. Yeah, that's absolutely right. Um, and that's why, you know, on average, um, in the companies uh, that have used this, we've saved 17% uh, of, of everything that's printed. Um, and in some cases, it's been as high as 30%. Wow. Uh, there was actually a government report out a few days ago that said uh, the government was printing $440 million worth of unwanted pages a year. Wow. Holy smoke. Now, have you, you, has the government, the U.S. federal government, have US, they US struck a deal government. with you? Have you got them as a client yet? Yeah, we're working on it. We're working on oh. it. Well, good. Uh, uh, we want to step back and tell us a little bit. Okay, so now you have the vision, which is always the, the aha, yes. epiphany moment for every great entrepreneur. So now you launch this software in the fall of 2006 yep. for the consumer world, obviously, like Mike and I, and the business world, which we all live in also. Yep. How's it gone? What's happened? And what challenges have you faced? And also, what? who's really you know, signing on? Well, we, it, we just had an incredibly serendipitous uh, launch. Um, we, it was just two guys, you know, basically in a garage, uh, in, in a tiny little office, um, and then and working out of uh, my house. Uh, and just before launch, we hired a, a PR director um, to work one or two days a week. Um, and she said, you know, if you, could, if you guys could get an article anywhere over the next two years, where would it be? And I'll just put that at the top of my list. And, 
you know, we said uh, Walt Mossberg in the Wall Street Journal because you know, he's, he's he's the guy. He is the guy, <laughs> he's kind of the holy grail of high tech PR. <laughs> right. but we said, you know, don't don't even bother to go after him for the next couple of years. <laughs> Last week he wrote about Office 2007. The week before he wrote about fifth generation iPod. You know, that's not exactly the league that we're playing in. Um, and she called us back two days later and said, I've got you an interview with Walt Mossberg. Unreal. Uh, wants you to fly out to D.C. Um, and we still kind of thought there was no way he would ever uh, write an article about us. But, um, and, and, you know, I, I was really curious about why he was talking to us at all. I had um, several friends who are in PR and, you know, work for huge tech companies, and they've never been able to get in front of them. Um, and he said, you know, this is a problem that I get an email about every single day um, and sometimes multiple emails a day saying, I, I'm flooded with these wasted pages. Ink and toner costs are ridiculous. What is the solution? Um, and he said, you know, I just haven't had anything to offer them up to this point, so I really wanted to, to see what you guys could do. Um, and, you know, it, it, again, we kind of never thought that we thought maybe we'd be part of a trend piece at some point. And he called us up a few days after the interview and said, you're my Thursday column. Um, and this was two weeks after we launched with a product that, being honest, was, was still kind of a beta product. Sure. Um, and, and so just an, an avalanche uh, of inquiries followed uh, that story. And, uh, so this was 2006. And the, end of 2006, right. December of 2006, right. um, and then in the, the ensuing year, um, dozens and dozens of, of media stories. We were the cover story for, for Inc. Magazine and uh, Entrepreneur and uh, a bunch of um, newspapers around the country and around the world, um, and that led to lots and lots. So we thought this would kind of be a slow, um, organic growth uh, type of startup where uh, we'd start with home users, uh, as you guys pointed out, and, and then as we, um, as, as the product matured, we'd move into bigger organizations. And you know, after this story, we we were immediately inundated with um, Fortune 500 company requests saying, "Can you deploy this to 50,000 users?" Um, so it's been it's been an incredible learning process. Uh, it's been an incredible last couple of years. Um, ultimately, we decided to in, entirely redesign the product from scratch uh, around large organizational needs, um, and that incorporates a lot of additional uh, savings, uh, print management and, and, uh, and reporting savings. Um, so, so if and, we fast forward to 2009 then, yep. for you know, what I read, and, and, and you can please discuss this, you've yep. just launched the 2.0 version. That's right. And and given that you've you know, so condensed the last three years, now your new launch. That's exp- right. You know, give us the where you are today, and 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 Mike and I are fascinated. How does it really work? Because yep. you know, really, we're interested in bringing this into our own homes yep. and also into our businesses. Explain to us how does this work, and where are you now? So so the way that it works, um, the the key as you guys pointed out. Um, you know, it, it, we, we get criticisms from time to time which say, you know, I've got a print preview already. This doesn't seem that innovative. Um, wh- what I really learned um, in, in innovation over the last 10 years is it's making these things as easy as possible. And, and Hayden, that's we're going to leave our listeners on that note, making it as easy as possible. And when we come back from the other side of the commercial break, we're going to have Hayden Hamilton explain to all of you how you can use his software from Green Print Technologies to help make the world a greener place by saving paper. Come on back to Green is Good. If a little green is good, more is even better. Now, back to Green is Good with John Shigarian and Mike Brady. Hey, welcome back to Green is Good with Mike Brady and John Shigarian. And today, we are so excited to have Hayden Hamilton as our guest on the phone. And we're talking about his great company, Green Print, which all of you can go to his website, printgreener.com, and download his software for free so you can try it out at home and get your kids using it and that therefore help save the waste of paper and energy and everything else 
that goes into wasteful printing. Hayden, we're so excited to have you on, and we're also thankful that you even are allowing our listeners and the consumers out there to download this software for free at home on printgreener.com. Tell us now. Let's come back to the question we had before the break. How does your software work, and what's really happening with your 2.0 version of it? Yep. So the software, we, we, we tried to design something that would eliminate all types of waste. Um, and, and we see essentially three categories. One is the, those wasted pages that print out at the end of the, the printout with just a URL or a banner ad. Uh, the second is probably the largest category, and that's, you know, you're printing uh, a, an email out and you've forgotten that there are eight pages of chain <laughs> replies attached to yep. the, the kind of one paragraph that you wanted, and you go to the printer expecting one page and there's eight. Yep. So seven pages of waste right there. Um, and then the third is that 56% of people over the age of 45 print as a way of archiving. Um, and I, I think it's pretty easy to see where that started. You know, early days of the web, you tried to save something, you got an HTML file with a separate folder, maybe you didn't know what the folder was and threw it away, and when you tried to put the whole thing back together again, it didn't look the same. And so you just printed it out and saved it in a manila file folder. Um, Greenprint allows you, uh, it provides a solution for all three of those problems. Wow. You hit print as you normally would, um, but instead of the physical printer being listed on your Microsoft pull-down menu or, or Apple pull-down menu, it says green print. You click OK, and then it looks through the print job, finds any uh, pages that meet the waste criteria, um, which is customizable, um, brings up a preview, highlights in red any page that it thinks is wasteful, and then you can click on any page that you want to eliminate or even right-click and just say, print this one page or print this section of pages. Um, and, and as I was mentioning before the break, the, the real innovation is just making it really easy for people to print exactly what they want. Um, you know, I, I think there's some good analogies to recycling. If you have a recycling bin right next to the trash can, it, it doesn't take any extra time to recycle. If you have to uh, drive down to, to some sort of communal recycling center, uh, nobody's going to do it. And, and, and I think that's, that's the innovation that we really hit upon. If you make it easy for people to get exactly what they want, um, they'll save a ton of time, a ton of money, and a, a, a ton of trees and CO2. Uh, but if they have to, to go into the Microsoft Print dialog box and hit 1, 7, 10 through 12, uh, they're just not going to do it. So you're saying great vision, remarkable experience, that's what you're aiming to do. Absolutely, absolutely. Make it as easy as possible for people to, to save money and, and help the environment. You know, one of the things that we have found recently doing this show, John and I, uh, Hayden, is that when offered an easy way to do it, most consumers, if it costs about the same or less, uh, and it's easy to do, most consumers will make the green choice. And it sounds like you have given uh, the consuming public, anybody that uses a printer, exactly that. Yeah, well, and, and the thing is, it, it's a problem that everybody can identify with. It's a problem that everyone has had from, you know, a, a kind of 5-year-old to an 85-year-old. Um, and on top of eliminating the, the frustration and helping the environment, on average, the, the average household is saving uh, about $100 a year in, in uh, ink costs, paper and ink costs. Ink is now one of the most expensive liquids on the planet. It's about $10,000 a gallon. Um, wow. Just saving a little bit of ink uh, can really make a difference in, in household Okay, budget. Hayden, so let's go over this so our listeners understand. If they download your software... On printgreener.com, you're saying the average per capita household in America can save $100 a year. That's right. That's amazing. So yep. now, you know, talk a little bit about the amount of trees saved, money saved, and other things that your software also tracks. Yes, yeah, so it, it will track uh, the number of, uh, of trees saved, uh, which is just an aggregate of, of, of the number of pages that you've saved. Um, but the average user uh, in, in a household or corporate setting is, is, is actually printing about 10,000 pages a year. Um, and we, we save somewhere between 17 and 25% of that, uh, wow. depending upon the context. Um, so that adds up incredibly quickly. Um, it, it's about uh, 20, I think it's about 23 reams that, that constitute a tree. Um, so it really doesn't take much. 
uh, wow. especially in a large organization, uh, but even for a household, uh, to, to have a, a meaningful impact on, on the environment. It also tracks the amount of CO2 that's saved. Um, and for, for large corporations uh, that use it, it's, it's the equivalent of, of taking thousands or even tens of thousands of cars off the road for an entire year. Well, I mean, um, and, and so, so you're saving everybody money. Yep. We're saving the environment. And as Mike and I always talk about the three basic foundations of sustainability being people, planet, and profit, yep. take us there. Are you profitable? Are you happy with where your company is in its vortex upwards? How's that going? And do you have any competition? Obviously, you're the visionary. You're the founder of this industry. You've created an industry. Do you have any competition? We don't, we don't have any competition at the moment, which, which has really surprised me. Um, but I, you know, I'm always expecting uh, competition to arrive any day. Right. Um, in, in terms of profitability, we, we are um, profitable right. uh, now. We've, um, we've, we've closed some major enterprise deals, and, and we have a partnership with Xerox. Uh, anybody who buys uh, a Xerox solid ink printer, uh, which, which is uh, their environmentally friendly line of printers, uh, gets uh, enterprise versions of, of green print to go with it for their office. Uh, and and that, that deal has helped us uh, in, in, in grow revenue. Is that, um, does that have to do with the Xerox green bu- bu- bundle issue? Yeah, there, so there's, there's a bundle that we have with their solid ink printers, and their solid ink printers reduce consumables waste by about 90%. Wow! Um, yeah, it, it's just staggering. They they have a an amazing poster that shows this whole room full of you know uh, toner spent toner cartridges and whatnot that that's the equivalent the, of five year life of an average printer. So Xerox, you're saying Xerox is another one of these great big companies that's truly talking the talk, but also walking the green walk. That's right. Their their solid ink line uh, has a huge impact uh, on r- reducing waste. So in your experiences now, you've had enough time over the last, uh, you know, 2006, 7, 8, and now in 9, as, as this, uh, as this uh, year goes to the second half now. Tell us, you know, this, the green revolution's here to stay, Hayden. We all know that, and we're all excited about that. But there is still people who are greenwashing and companies that are greenwashing versus those that really get it and that are making it part of their DNA. How has that affected your sales cycle when you're out there pitching your software that obviously hits all, all the, 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 the critical issues of sustainability in terms of planet, people, and profits? It's, this seems like it should be the easiest sale in the, in the world. Tell us how it's going. <laughs> well, that's what I'm always telling our sales team. Right. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I think it, it has gotten more difficult uh, in, in the last uh, year and a half uh, with, with the, the recession um, to, to uh, sell things purely from a green perspective. Uh, but, but I think the key is, and I, and I think this is the key for green in general, is, is to make, it, uh, make these solutions efficiency solutions. Um, and when a company can see a positive ROI, even if they're a greenwashing company, right. uh, they're still interested in saving millions or tens of millions of dollars a year uh, in, in increased efficiency uh, and reduced waste. Uh, and so, you know, e- even for these guys who, who were just looking to cre- create uh, corporate sustainability reports in order to, to increase sales and, and weren't tr- too concerned about the substance, everyone is interested in reducing waste and saving money. So really you've become, you've put yourself as a solution provider. That's right. I got you. So, you know, and so you talked about Xerox a little bit. Who else are your clients? Without giving away any secrets, give us some other brands that are really getting it and have already adopted your 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 software and are and are helping to save the planet so our listeners can hear who's who's really out there doing this stuff. So they range from We've got uh, about fort- uh, 50 uh, Fortune 500 companies um, who we're either in various stages of pilots with or we've closed deals with. Um, there are large uh, educational institutions that are piloting and, and looking to roll it out uh, across their campuses. Uh, there, there are a number of nonprofits um, who, and we have special 
uh, nonprofit and educational pricing um, who are looking to roll it out um, across their their organizations globally. Um, some some big um, NGOs uh, like like the World Bank. Wow. Um, and and then um, we're we're downloaded by about uh, a thousand uh, home users every day. Every day. Every day. A thousand a day, seven days a week. Exactly. So that, that's over awesome. time, uh, that'll result in tens of thousands, of, if not millions, of trees saved and, and millions of, of pounds of, of CO2 being reduced. And we're going to come back to those statistics in a little bit. But tell us a little bit also, Hayden, about, you know, you talked about some of your clients, but this sounds like it, this, this is a kind of product, just like Microsoft and Google don't are not confined to our borders are you confined to the united states borders or have you gone beyond no absolutely not and you know with ink and and, and toner prices uh higher in europe and in asia than they are in the u.s uh there's even more of a reason uh to use green print uh, abroad um, uh, paper in many parts of the world is is much harder to come by and much more expensive as well um so uh, amazingly, uh, in in much of the developing world, we have a higher ROI uh, than we we're saving more money for the average user uh, than we are in the U.S. Wow! So, which com- which countries are you focusing on in terms of your sales, or wh- who has approached you about buying your software? Which countries have shown the most interest to date? Uh, to date, I would say um, a number of companies, a, a number of uh, countries in Europe. Uh, we, we've gotten uh, requests from uh, big uh, corporations as well as large uh, distributor and reseller networks uh, to sell green print. Our largest sale, actually, uh, has been to a company that's based out of Hong Kong. Um, they're kind of the, the Berkshire Hathaway of, of Asia. Um, and it, it is, it's just a, a function of, of how expensive uh, ink and toner and paper are uh, in these places, that is- uh, and, and, and that's, that's just created demand with, without us having to do much at all. I just want to revisit, because I was taking a note earlier in the, in the front half, I believe, Hayden, you said that a printer ink sold by the gallon is uh, about $10,000 per gallon? $10,000 a gallon. It's just phenomenal. We, we have this uh, chart that, that compares the prices of various liquids, um, and printer ink is 15 times more expensive per ounce than Don Perignon champagne. Holy <laughs> cats. <laughs> it is, it's just phenomenally expensive. Um, and, you know, it, it's certainly, there is certainly some realization that it's expensive. Every time you go to, to Staples uh, and, and buy a, a refill for, for your printer, uh, it's, you know, 60 or $70. But I think what most people don't realize is a lot of times you're getting less than an ounce of ink for that price. Hayden, we're, we've got a couple minutes left, and uh, we want you to leave our listening entrepreneurs and, 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 and budding visionaries with a few pearls of wisdom. Uh, and, and also, with give us a little – we're going to ask you, of course, Nick, to come back next year and give us a wonderful update. But also, as, as, we, as we go out the next couple minutes, tell us also what you think – you know, we're down to the last minute. What's the future hold for green print, and where and where do you? What's your dream here? I, I, our dream is is to be uh, as ubiquitous as as something like Skype or Twitter. Okay. Uh, you know, if we could get on every machine uh, in the U.S., uh, we'd be saving hundreds of millions of trees a year and hundreds of millions of dollars, um, if not billions of dollars, for individual households. Uh, so our dream is is to be installed on every computer that is attached to a printer everywhere in the U.S. and, and everywhere in the world. Um, and we've got a multi-language version that, that we've just released uh, that will help us to do that. So hopefully over the next uh, three to five years, we'll see the adoption rate uh, go up substantially and, and we'll create a, a, a meaningful environmental impact. Hayden, thanks again for coming on. Green is good. And all of our listeners, go to Hayden's website, printgreener.com, and download your free software and use it and help save the world and make green is good.